Hello. Hydalide. Let's play Hydalide. I'm Lothrazar. This is my next let's let's play series. Oh Hydalide. How this game sucks, so basic storyline, dragon turns girl into fairies. Man must save girl. Man has sword and shield. Man will fight. So many people have died in this first screen. Now this game is old, old. I mean, really old. I mean, it was released in 1984 on the NEC PC, which is a Japanese-only system. It was then ported to the MSX system, and then eventually the NES. But to give you a frame of reference, the first Mario game ever released on the Nintendo Entertainment System, everyone knows that game, wasn't released until 1985. So this is one year before the first game was ever released on the Nintendo. So old this game is. So yeah, it sucks compared to NES games, because it's older than almost all NES games. Uh, if you don't know much about this game, you just walk into something to attack it. But you have to hold down A to be in attack stance. But if you're in attack stance, you take a lot more damage. Look how much I'm dying already. Also, getting hit from the side or the back is really, really bad. But you don't want to attack them from the back. And health, the only way to heal is to stand around. But don't stand in the forest, the forest drains your health. Um, episode 1 is going to be short. The cross is one of the first items you get in the game. And, oh, they don't tell you any of this in the game, by the way. You have to figure it out. But you need the cross to kill the vampire. Once you kill the vampire, you get a lantern that lets you see in dark underground dungeons. Like, for example, this one. Oh, this one. Uh, we could probably navigate our way through that one in the dark if I knew it really well, but those fireballs would kill me. So, yeah, be careful. Be careful switching to attack stance if someone is behind you, or even if someone's facing you. And you can see how slow my experience bar goes up. Really, really slow. And if you die, you lose it all. Uh, there, that's, there is an in-game save system and a pass system, but I don't recommend using it. It's pretty crappy. If you can avoid using it... Oops. What am I doing? Oh yeah. That's what I'm doing. I was looking for the item screen. I couldn't find it. But yeah, if you can avoid using in-game sa in save, I would. Because you want to be able to save... The whole point in saving half the time is to save the experience you've gotten in case you die. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a save state there. Now, one of the first things that it is possible to do at the beginning of the game that most people don't know is... Well, you have to get those three fairies to uh, put the princesses back together. But one of them is hidden in one of these trees. At random, of course. Aha, there he is. There she is. Fairy number one of three. And that's pretty much all you can do at the beginning of the game. Until you level up once or twice, you can't defeat that vampire. And without the lamp, you can't do much else. You can barely handle these level one slime and kobolds as it is let alone anything else. So I recommend grinding up one level at least. Or maybe two levels if you feel good. I think I'll do two. And we'll probably go into that purple maze-like place next. Those purple guys are hard. Once you hit level two, you can probably take on a few ropers if you get them from behind. So I'll be doing that. Uh, what else do I want to go for? I guess you can watch me level for a bit. Oh, I died there. See, now I want to stay away from things to heal. Oh, magic, right. You see the words turn, fire, ice, wave, flash, and those pretty, pretty pink bricks. I don't know why they're pink, but anyway, those are your magic spells. And you, I don't have any yet, because you don't get any spells till you gain at least one level. When I gain a level, I'll get the turn spell, which isn't turn undead, it literally turns your enemy to face the opposite direction. Which is actually useful since killing stuff from behind or the side is so much easier. We're in the front, killing it from the front, they could hit you back. So yeah, and then fire and ice. Um, really the only spell you need... Well, turn will help against the vampire, and... I guess fire my turn too, but 
Wave is essential for a point near the end, and Flash kills all the game people at the end. Our uh, uh, Flash kills everything on the screen. Sorry. Fire and ice shoot ice bolts. But that's if you make it that far. If you don't know where to go, you're just gonna wander around and die. Or even if you do try to go in one of these caves, you're gonna die. Well, plus you can't see. But also the monsters in them will kill you, no matter what you do. So yeah. I mean... Um, oh yeah, also the world loops around. So you see up here, that chest is locked by the way. And this, there's a moving rock on the screen that kills you in like two hits. But literally the whole map loops, so I can just walk straight down and it will loop around on itself. This is the starting screen. This is where the bees were in the first ferry. And look, I'm down here again. And almost all ground that's not grass will hurt you. This game is that mean. Uh, so yeah, that's about all I can do for now. Uh, the big desert, the place is scary. Oh yeah, so the goal of the game is to get the three fairies back and defeat that dragon thing. And then we should be able to beat the game. Well, it's not like a dragon, it's kind of like a gargoyle who's standing upright. I don't know. I don't know. I have sentimental va value attached to this game. Like, I don't know, I played it a lot as a kid, I think with Game Genie Codes, just because it was one of the few games the rental store had in my small, small town. I just had memories of playing this at like 8 and either dying a lot or becoming invincible with a game genie or something and wandering around. I never beat it because I couldn't figure out where to go, but anyway, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this LP and no one else has done it. And it'll be really, really short, like five, six episodes tops, mostly because all my level grinding is off screen. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video here. I'll meet you back when I'm, I've gained, yeah, I'll gain two levels. So, see you then.